Hey everyone, I'm Steve from GamersNexus.net and this video will show you how to remove the FPS cap that is enabled by default in Fallout 4. The cap sets your frame rate limit to 60, so you cannot exceed 60 with this enabled. And it is located in the INI files, which is similar to Skyrim and previous Bethesda games. It's using the same engine, actually, as the previous games. So, to get rid of the FPS cap, the first thing you want to do is launch Fallout go to the options and set the options to what you want. Get them where you want them because once we're done with removing the FPS cap, we're gonna lock the file to read only so you won't be able to modify them after without changing that again. So once that's done, navigate to the My Documents, My Games folder and find Fallout 4. Then find fallout4prefs.ini. That is the one you want. There are a couple of files. Multiple of them contain iPresentInterval, but the one you want is fallout4prefs.ini. Do a search for I present interval and set it equal to zero. That will disable the frame rate limiter that is enabled by default. If you want it back on, you set it to one. Once you're done with this, save the file, close it, right click on it, go to properties and tick the box that says read only then apply. And that will stop Fallout from changing your setting from reverting it every time you launch Fallout because otherwise it will actually revert that setting every time you change the settings or launch the game. And then if you want to change things in the future, you will need to change that back to a writable file by navigating back to the properties, disable the read only setting, and then you can change your game settings. Check back for more Fallout 4 videos. We've got quite a few coming up and should probably have some on the channel already. So check all of that. Hit the website linked in the description below, gamersnexus.net, and check the Patreon page for ways to support us on this content. And I will see you all next time.